Hey everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to another meta guide in the Spring Cup for the Great League. This Spring Cup begins tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the Open Ultra League is going to continue to run alongside it for a week. And yeah, what do you think? I went back to the old, uh, the old uh, layout. Let me know what you think of it. I kind of like it better than than the last week's one, but let me know what you think about it. Uh, I feel like it gets the point across. I just really like it. I might upgrade the graphic a little bit, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. But yeah, the Spring Cup is a brand new meta, and only uh, only water, grass, uh, and fairy types are going to be eligible for this meta. So, um, Toxapex is banned as well, so keep that in mind. You cannot use Toxapex, but everything else goes. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into the commentary and see what we got going on for us. So, the first rank, the S rank, going to be Goliath Weezing. This Pokemon is so, so good. Uh, it just does so well against most of the meta with Overheat and Brutal Swing. I think that is the moveset you want to go with. Overheat is going to incinerate any of those grass types, especially Ferrothorn, which is really strong. Brutal Swing going to be decent. For, well, first of all, it's good for a bait move, but it's also going to be decent for, like, you know, the Trevenant, of course. And still, I mean, you know, as I said, a bait move, uh, for the most part, if you don't want to debuff yourself, if you charge up for the Overheat and go for the Brutal Swing, if they're running grass types, they might want to shield it, right? So Goliath Weezing is definitely a Pokemon to look out for. Uh, then we have Furthorn. Furthorn is going to be great. Just needs to stay away from the fire attacks. But yeah, it's a great Pokemon. PV Pokey does recommend Power Whip and Flash Cannon. And Flash Cannon is going to hit those grass types really, really hard. As well as that Goliath Weezing. So keep that in mind. It does have play against Goliath Weezing because of Flash Cannon. But you do have to watch out for that Overheat because Overheat will easily KO. So... Uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Then we have Obama Snow or Shadow Obama Snow, really powerful Pokemon. Uh, I love the Shadow variant, to be honest. Um, I'll probably be running it, but yeah, I mean, just a powerful Pokemon. I guess the, the Weather Ball's fast, uh, Energy Ball fast. Yeah, really strong Pokemon. Then we have Trevenant. Trevenant is good. Uh, usually in the top meta, it's usually the top meta in any league it's eligible in, to be honest. It's such a good Pokemon. You all know Trevenant by now. Then we have Pelipper, one of my favorite Pokemon to use with that Wing Attack buff that it received not too long ago with Weather Ball. Just going to be a great Pokemon, really spammy. It can, a great bait move. Weather Ball is a beautiful bait move. Uh, or you could land the Hurricane on any of those grass types. Uh, just a beautiful Pokemon. I could honestly see people going straight Hurricane against the Goliath Weezing, and Goliath Weezing not shielding, calling the Weather Ball, right? And plus, like, if, if you're the Weezing, can you really go for Overheat because it's resisted? You kind of have to go for Brutal Swing, which Pelipper will be able to take a couple of them. So, yeah, I mean, pretty, pretty good Pokemon. And then, moving on to the A rank, we do have Tropius. Tropius is actually going to be pretty solid in this meta. Going up against other Grass types with Air Slash, it's going to be doing really well. So, Tropius is actually going to be really good in this in this meta really tanky i'm really liking it for this yeah i really think it's a great pokemon for the spring cup and then we have arachnid arachnid with that bug bite doing super effective damage towards the grass types so yeah it's really really tanky um it is neutral to that overheat from wheezing so keep that in mind but it won't one shot it from full health and then the wheezing debuffs its attack which is huge for the arachnid um but yeah i don't know a pretty good pokemon uh, then we have Mantine, so I guess a little bit similar to Pelipper. I like Pelipper a little bit more, but but Mantine with that Wing Attack buff, Bubble Beam with the debuff, and then Ice Beam. Uh, really, really strong Pokemon. We have Mawile, so Mawile with Fire Fang, going to do well against all the Grass types. You can run it with Fairy Wind, I guess, if you want to get to the charge moves faster, but Fire, Fire Fang against all the Grass types going to be doing really, really well. I really like it. I really do. I think it's going to be a really solid pick for this meta. Uh, and then we have Tentacruel. Tentacruel, yeah, I mean, Tentacruel with the Poison Jab, gonna be doing well against the Grass. There's so many Grass types in this meta, right? Gonna be doing well against most of the Grass types, Ferrothorn being the exception, right? Because Ferrothorn is resisting uh, the Grass attacks thanks to its, uh, or the Poison attacks thanks to its Steel typing, right? So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a really solid pick in this meta. Uh, then for the B rank, we have Lantern. So Lantern does have to avoid the grass type Pokemon, right? It does have to, but if we can get on the Pelipper, the Bantine, the Tentacruel, even doing pretty good, I would say, against the Weezing because it's resisting the Overheat, they have to go for Brutal Swing. Lantern is so tanky, you could take multiple Brutal Swings, right? So, great Pokemon. Um, as long as it stays away from the grass types, I think it's pretty good. And then we have Alola Ninetales or the Shadow Variant. I personally like the Shadow Variant, but yeah, I mean, Charm doing a lot of damage. Keep it away from the Steel types or the Poison types, and it, it, it can do a lot of damage, but there's a decent amount of Steel and Poison types, so keep that in mind. 
Uh, then we have Venusaur. Venusaur, another great pick with that Sludge Bomb against the Weezing. Yes, it does have to watch out for Overheat, but the Sludge Wave, Weezing has to watch out for as well. Then we have Wall Rain. Wall Rain with the Fast, Icicle Spear. Uh, I shot Icicle Spear, right? Really strong Pokemon. So we're going to move on to the other options. We do have Jump Pluff in the first spot. Jump Pluff, I think, it might be okay. Uh, the Acrobatics, of course, is strong against Grass types. Uh, Jump Pluff has a really high defense stat, so uh, I could take moves. I'm sure, it, I think it could take an Overheat from a Weezing. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I think an XL1, like level, what is it? Does it, is it get to level 50? Like really high XL1? Uh, going to be taking moves. Dugan, uh, another, you know, it's a nice type. It could debuff your opponent, so not too bad. Celio, uh, it could be okay. Wolverine is going to be better than Celio, I think, but Celio could be okay. We do have Quillfish as the next one. Uh, Quillfish is really spammy with Poison Sting, so it gets to the moves really fast. And then we have Lorantis. Lorantis is pretty spammy as well. I don't think it's going to be as good as some of the other... Uh, grass types. Ivysaur. Ivysaur has Razor Leaf. Ivysaur, I mean, there's other Pokemon that can run Razor Leaf that are better, uh, in my opinion. But Ivysaur, uh, eh, I, I don't think we'll see it much, but, you know, maybe here or there. Uh, and then we have Rose Raid. Rose Raid with the... It has Poison Jab. It has Bullet Seed. It uh, has Weather Ball. Whichever moves that you want to go for. It could be pretty decent. Uh, then we have uh, Cradilly, right? Hisuian Electrode. So Hisuian Electrode, the issue with this is the grass types resist all of its moves. So you do have to watch out for that. Superior. Superior is not going to see too much play, I don't think. Um, you know, it's just a grass type that I think gets overshadowed by so many other grass types. And then we have Seeking with the Poison Jab. The problem is, yes, it's doing super effective damage towards all the grass types. Um, or most of the grass types. But it's also a water type, so it's weak to grass types as well. So you do have to watch out for that. Uh, Meganium. Again, I think it's overshadowed by other grass types, but it is an option. But let's go ahead and move on to the solid team options right now. So for the first team, we have Double Grass with a Fly in the lead. Uh, you could run Pelipper instead of Mantine. I put Mantine on the lead. Backlight obviously hates Fire, so the Backlight kind of going to struggle in a way to the Weezing. Um, but you have Mantine, which is going to resist Overheat, and you could continue to debuff the, the Weezing, or you can go for Ice Beam. Uh, so you could blow out the Weezing maybe with, with I don't know, Fur Thorn, but even if they bring in the Weezing, they have to respect the, the Flash Cannon, right? So, uh, and then uh, Tropius, I like doing, it's doing well obviously against the Water Types, but it's also doing well against other Grass Types, right? So I do like Tropius on this team. The next team, we have Trevenant in the lead with Goliath and Weezing and Tentacruel. So Tentacruel does do really well against the Grass Types. It's taking neutral damage from Grass Attacks, but it's doing super effective damage towards most of them. Um, Ferrothorn, I mean, you have the Trevenant for the Ferrothorn, right? The Shadow Balls will hit like a truck. You have the Weezing that can handle the Ferrothorn as well. Uh, so pretty, pretty solid team, I think. Uh, and then the next team, we have Arachnorid in the lead with Shadow Mywile. I like the Shadow Mywile. I think the regular one can work. If you only have the regular one, you can go for it. The Shadow one, if you have that, a decent rank one. Doesn't have to be the best. I would go with the Shadow one. Uh, but I know it's expensive. So if you don't have it, the regular one, I think, works. But obviously, you want to get rid of the grass types with the fire fang. Just you have to watch out for the the water types, right? So generally, you want to win the lead because if you lose the lead and then bring in Mawile, and then they have a water type that's going to be uh, that's going to spell out trouble, I think, for you. Uh, unless maybe you're running a fairy wind variant, but probably not. Um, but no, pretty decent team, I think. Moving on, we have the double flyers, Pelipper and Mantine. So of course. Those Pokemon are going to absolutely hate Lantern, so I put a Grass type in the lead. I, I like this Grass type because this Grass type is going to do well against Goliath and Weezing. And Goliath and Weezing, yes, going to do well against Goliath and Weezing. You could run another glass uh, Grass type, but I think Venusaur is going to do uh, well on this team. Uh, the next team, we do have Lantern in the lead with Double Poison. So, obviously, Weezing doesn't really act like a Poison type because it doesn't use Poison moves. It has Overheat and Brutal Swing, which is probably the moveset. You will see it has Play Rough as well, but I don't think you'll see Play Rough. Uh, but, yeah, so, obviously... Uh, Lantern going to be weak to grass, right? But you do have two answers to grass types in the back that are going to resist grass moves. I mean, Tentacruel doesn't resist grass moves, right? But it does take uh, neutral damage to it. It's doing super effective damage to most of the grass types. Um, and then the final team is going to be Wolverine with the um, Ferrothorn as well as Tentacruel. So uh, Wolverine, I think, is a pretty good Pokemon. If you don't have a good matchup, you could save swap into the Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn, I think, is a pretty safe save swap because what are they going to respond to? Uh, respond with, right? I mean, I guess, I guess Tropius is going to be a good response, but you have the Flash Cannon. 
and you're taking neutral damage from the flying t type attacks, right? So, uh, I, you know, I think I think this is going to be a pretty... I mean, obviously, Mawile. Mawile is going to be bad. Uh, but if they have... Uh, yeah, Mawile is going to be terrible, I guess. But other than that, if they have the Weezing, you still have play. You could maybe shield. You can call the bait. Uh, but you have Flash Cannon, so you do have play there. But either way, this is going to be the Spring Cup for you. Let me know what you think of it. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.